How's it going, Irving High? I'm Randall. And I'm Yami. Today is Monday, January the 12th. And we're here with your midday report. Today's SAT word of the day is a piece, which means to pacify or placate by acceding to their demands. There will be no schedule changing after the second semester begins. All requests for second semester schedules must be into counselors by January 16th. Forms are available in the counselor office. There can only be changes in class levels and semester class courses. You cannot move to a full course at mid-year. The after-school bus will not be running next week, Wednesday and Thursday, January 14th and 15th, since we will be doing semester testing this week. Attention students, there will be a blood drive going on this tomorrow from 8.30 to 2.30 in the library. You will be able to sign up during lunch today. Seniors, just a reminder that the Irving Schools Foundation scholarships are due January 30th. And there are only 145 days until graduation. <laughs> Journeys will begin meeting Tuesday after school, January 13th and Wednesday the 14th. Stop by Mrs. Estrada's room 415 for more information. The Ronald McDonald Scholarships deadline is coming up quickly and due January 20th. At least one student from Irving will be chosen, so see your counselor for an application or go to the Irving High website scholarship page for an online application. Well, this concludes the announcements for today. I'm Randall. And I'm Yami. Now on to the Tiger Sports Update. Hello Tiger Sports fans and welcome to your Tiger Sports Update. I'm Jesse. And I'm Lena. Attention all ladies, if you're not currently in a sport or you are off season in your sport and would like to join the Lady Tiger track and field team, please see Coach Galindo in room 471 for all required documentation. Anyone interested in running, throwing, or jumping should consider changing their schedule to 8th period athletics before the January 16th deadline. Remember, you must be passing all your classes in order to be eligible. Come on, ladies, let's show them how baby got track. On Friday night, your Irving High School Lady Tigers basketball teams took on crosstown rival Irving Nimitz. Freshman Gold Girls won via forfeit. Freshman Black Girls were defeated 34 to 33-44 in a disappointing and controversial fashion. JV Girls were defeated 30 to 59. However, the JV girls turned around the very next day and responded with a resounding 58 to 6 victory over Dallas Sunset. Wow. And finally, the varsity girls were about to nuke Nimitz with a 58 to 20 51 victory. The game was led by Aaron Sanchez who had 33 points and 6 steals and Crystal Kiki and her defensive prowess. Please congratulate these ladies on a great weekend of basketball. Also wish them luck as tonight the varsity girls will take on Dallas Sunset here at 6 p.m. Go Tigers! Friday night the Irving Tigers boys basketball team hosted crosstown rival Nimitz and won three out of four games. The result are as follows. Freshman Gold won 39 to 36 with nine points from Henry Chu and eight points from Angel Cabello. Freshman Black won 59 to 55 as they were led by Carlos Avery with 11 points. Junior Varsity won 50-41 to with Jonathan Cabrera being the leading scorer with 10 points. And Varsity came up short with the leading scorer, Kevon Thomas, with 18 points. Also, over the weekend, our JV and freshman black teams had victories over Dallas Sunset. Freshman black winning 55-31 to and JV winning 60-33. The Varsity will travel to Dallas Sunset tonight for their next game. The Irving Tiger wrestling team traveled to LD Bell this past weekend to compete in the Trinity Trojan Classic. The Tigers had a great showing as they placed second in the tournament. Placing fourth for the Tigers were Alonso Herrera at 113 pounds and Wesley Taylor Vincent at 160 pounds. Finishing third for the Tigers were Seth Innocencio at 120 and Samir Musa at 152. Finishing second for the Tigers were Jose Ochoa at 132, Jose Alonso at 145, and Morris Shaw at 170. Finally, finishing first for the Tigers was Cesar Perez at 106. Please congratulate these students if you have them in a class. In soccer news, the varsity girls finished their weekend as consolation champions of the Judy Hammond tournament. They are victor victorious on Friday against Dallas Conrad with a score of 11-0 and faced Grand Prairie in the final on Saturday. Melanie 
Betancourt scored in the first half for the Lady Tigers against Grand Perry. Vanessa Albert closed the gate in the second half, scoring the hat trick in 20 minutes as the Lady Tigers defeated Grand Perry 4 to 0. They play the Colony tomorrow at Tiger Field and a few games in Princeton later in the week. Are you looking for a sport to play during the spring semester? Are you a senior athlete that finished their sport in the fall and wants to do something to do? Consider playing water polo. To play, you must be able to get into the first period swimming class during the first spring semester, be willing to come to practice every morning at 6.30 a.m. and want to win. Talk to Coach DuBose in room 469 as soon as possible. All girls planning on playing softball this year must attend the field day this Saturday, January 17th at the Lady Tiger Field beginning at 9 a.m. with at least one parent. If you have any questions, please see Coach Luttrell in room 475. Well, this concludes sports support for today. I've been Lena. And I've been Jesse. Have a great day, Tigers.